day. Anyway, go time. Just um, gonna go and pick up a couple good mates of mine, Nick and Andrew, and um, we are headed south. After arriving at midnight and spending half the night awake under a leaking gazebo, that alarm going off the next morning sounded unreal. It was time to hit the hills. I look forward to a little bit of rain now, but I know we've got a hunt ahead. It just makes it that little bit easier to walk quietly. It seems like the deer are more complacent and potentially stay out longer. It was looking good on that first morning when only 300 metres from the ute we bumped a young buck. taking shelter under a little pine actually because um, it's been a solid rain back come through just the last 10 minutes so I was getting pretty drenched you can see my hat about to rip oh, just heard the sound of what I believe is a 270 wind tester not too far away either There's about, I reckon we had about probably 50 mil on road, and it just went right through us. This sort of landscape we're hunting, there's just no shelter at all.
Yeah, just go, man. I reckon uh, we go with a red hot cracker. No regrets. Any more? Any more cliches? Nah. Um, you win some, you lose some. The boys really dug deep. They dug deep, yes. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's a trip of two halves. Two halves. I was successful, you lost some. <laughs> He said head down. After a miserable but successful first day, we moved into a new area on the other side of the pines that the deer had disappeared into the day before. We immediately started seeing sign everywhere but blew the couple of opportunities we had on some does. It's time to pack up and home. Two days just wasn't long enough.